Yo guys, welcome to Florida. Rumbling Man coming to you today with a two-year follow-up on these DR Legends flat-wound bass guitar strings. Stick with me, let's hear them real quick. So guys, I welcome you back to the Rumblin' Man channel. If you've been here before, maybe you're a subscriber or a patron or an insider or a frequent watcher, thank you so much for watching and for coming back. And if you've never been here before, welcome to the Rumblin' Man channel. This is a bass and guitar channel where we look at basses, guitars, and all the related gear, such as strings. And today, we're doing a two-year follow-up with some bass strings that I reviewed two years ago. Now, just a disclaimer for the sake of being transparent, uh, it hasn't been a full two years, okay? That review came out uh, 21 months ago today, but, you know, three months from now, that is exactly two years. So, come on, okay? It's, it's almost two years, 21-month-old strings, if you will. So, these strings have been on kind of a journey with me. I've had them on three different bases. When I first reviewed them a couple years back, I had them a five-string set, and I had them on my five-string jazz bass, which is currently up in uh, Massachusetts. Then not long after that, I put them on my 70s Gibson Grabber bass, uh, and when we looked at that bass in a video, they were on it, and then not long ago, I put them on my Glary GP project bass uh, that I've got another video coming out talking about uh, as well. Uh, but now they are back on the grabber, okay? So these strings have seen some action. So here's the thing. They say that flat wound strings get better with time. They say, you know, you don't like them out of the package, don't worry, just let them sit on your bass. Play them for a while because as they age and as the years go by even, they get better and better and they sound more vintage and they give you a really cool thumpy tone. So what I wanna assess today is, I wanna assess, is that true? You know, uh, two years later, are these strings better? Do they sound better? Do they look better? Do they feel better? What's better about them than when I first reviewed them? So first, let's go in terms of feel, because to me, with strings, sound is most important, but feel is next. You don't want to play a string that you hate. When I first reviewed these strings, they were different to me because I had never used DR's flats before. I had been using uh, Diodario Chromes, which actually do have quite a different texture to them in terms of flat wound strings. So when I first reviewed them, I liked them, but something was missing and something was lacking to me. So the bass actually spent some months in a closet just because, I don't know, I wasn't really enjoying playing them. They kind of had a texture to them that felt like this kind of weird almost sticky texture. I'm like, I, is this regular for flat wound strings? I don't really get it. So two years into this thing, I can say in terms of recent months, the weird texture that I felt like they had, the weird kind of sticky texture is gone. That's something that comes off with age, the more you play it. And then, you know, somewhere between the process of the review and now there was a time when I felt like, you know, I don't like playing these. I feel like I'm playing a, a chicken bone or something, you know what I mean? Well, that feeling is kind of gone too. And what we have now is some nicely textured, aged flat wound strings. So in terms of feel, I can definitely say uh, that when it comes to these DR legend flat wound strings for bass guitar, uh, they definitely get better with age and with time. And had I, you know, tossed them, I never would have known. Now let's talk in terms of sound, okay? I want to show you a couple quick video clips. Now, these won't be the most crystal clear quality video clips uh, in terms of audio and video simply because I have to download them off a server in the first place. I just wanna show you a little bit of how they sounded in the past and then a little bit of how they sounded in the slightly more recent past and then how they sound right now. Okay, so this first clip we're gonna look at is from my original review. Let's listen.
So what do you think? I had hair and I was a lot thinner. Oh, well. Uh, so, and that's kind of the same case with this next clip, which is from when we took a look at the Gibson Grabber uh, in my Vintage Artifacts video series. Let's take a quick listen. <laughs> Right, so that video was probably around a year ago or so now. I don't really remember for sure. And then uh, now we have modern day. Now we have right now. Let's listen to how these strings sound right now. So Flatwound's dead and with time, and, and what I find is, you know, now they have a much nicer vintage tone than they did when I first took them out of the box. With time, they deaden out, with playing, with, you know, uh, being exposed to oxygen and, and the elements of a room or outdoor elements, these things really age, and they give you the nice charm that everybody is looking for when they unpackage a set of Flatwound strings. I haven't heard a single bass player say, I love the vibe of a brand new set of flats. I mean, I'm really interested in what every set of strings has to offer, and that's why right here on the Rumble Man channel, you know, we look at a lot of different sets of bass strings, because I think the strings on your bass, and, and this is just something that I've noticed over, you know, the past 10 years of really focusing in on bass, is that the strings really make a difference in your playing experience, and they really make a difference in your sound. Something I often say is, you don't like your bass, you don't like how your bass is playing and sounding right now, change your strings step one because that can sometimes fix the situation so they've got the older thump but can they still cut it with newer style music well let's put these in a mix uh kind of a more modern style of music and listen to how they would sound two years old on an old bass in a new mix So guys, very cool. I very much enjoyed getting to revisit these strings today. Let me know in the comments what you think and what your experience with, uh, with flat wound strings has been uh, as they age and uh, how they level out against newer flats or even rounds. I'd love to know uh, your experience in the comments as I personally continue to study bass strings and continue to study what they can do for your feel for your playing experience and for your tone. Do me a favor and if you enjoyed today's demos, hit the thumbs up button so that YouTube will be more likely to recommend my video in people's searches. Also, please subscribe to the Rumble Man channel if you haven't yet. I would love to have you as one of my subscribers and it would really help me out, okay? I've also got Facebook, Instagram, social media where you can hit me up. I also have a Patreon program where we have uh, eight patrons right now who are chipping in to really support this channel and literally, I mean, patron literally, 
helps this channel keep going, <laughs> okay? Uh, and so I just really want to say I really appreciate all you guys uh, out there, whether you're an insider or whether you're just viewing. Just thanks so much for being a part of it. God bless you. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. And we got some really cool videos coming up, okay? Some really cool bases. So make sure you stick with me, all right? Peace.